Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros. Drinking Bros. Drinkin Bros. Yeah. Woo! We are live from the Ohio State University for Penn State. I always feel weird saying Penn State. I feel like I'm. S- yeah, you goddamn right. Sandusky uh, is not here. He nope. just got his sentence increased to 30 oh! and 60 years. No, no, we can't. It's too early to hear OHIO. They fucked us on this noon game. They That's fucked true. us on this noon game. And then when you hear OHIO at 8 a.m. all the way through noon, by the time you want to kill other people from Ohio. Yep. Uh, no, we're all done with, with that. We're all done with that for a little bit. Love you. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people blacking out. Showed Definitely. up. We're at Richard Dinoff's tailgate. World famous. It's a little early, therefore, you know, We've usually already, there's 60, 70 fucking be- I mean, it's, it's yeah, huge. It's huge. Ten tents. We've already had one veteran get way too yeah. blackout drunk. Lose his freaking tailgate. Lose his tickets. Somebody's screaming to do shots of fireball. Boom. These are going down right now. Yeah. Chris, Chris, right now. we need more. Uh, we got Craig Dulesky. Uh, from Iowa. Iowa doesn't exist if you're in drinking for sports. Iowa does not exist. Look at this. Oh, the belly? Look oh, he's at got this. Chase Daniel today, not tra- trail progress. He's got an Iowa jersey no, what do you got underneath jersey? that Ohio State jersey? Fucking what Come on, you fat kid. Show it to that. us. Show it to us. What do you got underneath oh. Oh. He's got... <laughs> you can edit that out. This is live. Do you have an Iowa jersey? He's got an Iowa oh, jersey. Oh, he's got an Ooh. Iowa jersey. Go Hawkeyes. Go Hawkeyes. Fuck Illinois. The, the, the Hawkeyes aren't going anywhere. No, they're the not. The Hawkeyes aren't going anywhere. They are Fuck not. Minnesota. She goes, I'm from Illinois. She, you, you said, I'm from Illinois. I was born in Peoria. Same. Yeah. Twinsies. But Twinsies. Graduated from Ohio State. So. Yeah. Apologize. I did. Yeah. Lived in Atlanta. I as a knew young better child. even as a child that I, I would I wanted to go to a sports school. Yes. Illinois is not a sports school. They can't even spell the name of their state right. There's an S on the end of it. That's silence. The fuck? What what is that? At least Georgia is like, hey, it's Georgia. You know? It's for the dumbest Georgia. people. Hey, he only just, knows that because he's an IA on the end of there, bud. Uh, Richard Dinoff, world famous tailgate. Cheers. You've got Apple Moonshine. That's right. We're going hard. Hey, since you guys were chanting fireball Gito. shots, we'll do one live on air here. Uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. God damn it. Boy, this isn't going to be good for anyone. No nope. one. Ah! I just drank that. Ah! This much. It's gone. Uh, Richard, give it to me. Fireball shots that at was 9 cool. a.m. Uh, we got the Patterson Holloway 2020 pins up here. Running for New Hanover County School Board. Draining uh, the creek. It's all rear. Yeah, draining the creek. Uh, Richard, we'll start with you. How long have you been doing this tailgate? We have been tailgating in various locations for six years. We actually started this, this new tailgate right here the third week. We had started with two tents. We have 10 tents now. We have probably 75 people here. We probably have yep. 20 to 25 drinking bros. This is where it goes down. I don't give a shit if you think you fucking tailgate anywhere else. You're not Ohio State. (laughs) I like that motherfucker right there. Pound that shit, Richard. If I was a homosexual man, I would grab his dick right now. After a speech like that, don't worry, Ross. I I got you. Ross, Ross, I got you. I got you. I got you. Because right your wife isn't here, right? No, she's getting shit yeah, done. Yeah, so I can, you know, I can grab you can, it. You can play with it all day long, I feel, baby. I feel safe that I we'll, can grab it. We'll find you on the field after we win by 24. Goddamn right. Goddamn right. Uh, have you ever stormed the field? The last one I was I thinking have. about was Michigan, Ohio okay. State, 42 So if you ask the man at the back, yeah. when we won in the double overtime against Michigan, he turned around to give me a hug, and I was already on the fucking field. I lost my cell phone that day, everything. But it was great. It was worth it. That was when Curtis Samuel freaking ran in, and he had like, oh. Yeah. He was all done. But, you know, it's worth it. So I, I've, I've moved from C-deck to be on the field before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I that 42-39 game I was on the field for, we got so fucked. That's when they had natural grass. Yes. I took a huge chunk of grass, ripped it out of the ground, and then wore it as a fucking toupee. 
for a good two hours all the way to Varsity Club. Here's the beauty of it. People were rubbing it for good luck. Uh, I'm so fucking well, proud of you, grass, Ross. I'm just so Ohio State grass. You. You're such an epic mind that only you could think about doing <laughs> that shit. Craig Dulesky, you got you guys have a game today. We do. We're playing Illinois. Easy win, but I did buy two points. They did it at 13 and a half. What's the, yeah, what's the point spread in that? It was like 15, 16, so I bought two and a half. Okay, so you took it down to 13 and a half? Yeah. How, how has Iowa been this year? Uh, we lost the games that we should have won or lost. Sure. Because in the call-in show, I was like, hey, we're going to easily probably lose the Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, and whatever the fuck game. Penn State, I yep. guess. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't. Hey, at least we don't have Sandusky on our fucking team, bro. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but, hey, we lost those games. But, hey, we're going to beat Illinois this week. And then fuck Nebraska. Why well, is Nebraska even a fucking state? I don't know. Iowa should be a fucking state. Not yet. Fuck Nebraska. Not yet. So, we're, hey, we're going to go there for the Field of Dreams game. They're playing one game at the Field of Dreams field next year. And it's going to be the New York fucking Yankees. Wait. Um, Chicago White Sox. Can't I'm gonna, uh, Yeah. Wait. So, I'll be Can't there. Can't fucking wait. Do you live in Iowa currently? I live in Maryland, but, you know, I bleed Iowa, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, you'll I be there. I bleed. Fu- yeah. Oh, dude, I was looking for tickets last night. They don't have shit up right now. No, because it's, it's, it's going to be one of those weird we'll both last be second there. games. I like. There's a lot of chatter out of you, Brian Knauss. God, Brian <laughs> Knauss. There's always Just, one Penn State fan that shows God, up. Damn it. How many times do you hear the word Sandusky? Over Sandusky and over and over is again, your right? savior, right? It's crazy. Can't count, right? Yeah. I, he goes, it's only one guy. Hey, it was only one guy who fucked kids. So was Michael Jackson. But, so was Michael hey, Jackson. It was only one guy who fucked kids. Hey, Ross. Yeah. Uh, he, goes, but, he goes, when you go to Penn State. Oh, boy, I, lo- I love that. But they tore down those showers, by the way. That is a true story. They ripped out the showers. Yeah, they yeah they did. They did. They did. But in all honesty, in all honesty, though, it's unfair because I, I enjoy Penn State. Every time I've gone there, I've had a good time. The I don't like is, the no beer in the stadium <laughs> situation that's you know currently what the problem going is? on. But. The problem is the kids didn't do anything. No, they the shouldn't have vanquished all the wins. No, they shouldn't did all that. None well, of it. Was, I mean, they gave Iowa fuckers. a couple more wins. Yeah, they did so. some shit, and then they they put the ban on the freaking college kids, and that's not right. That's not right. And it's it's to me personally like I, it was a coach, and hey, don't let the kids suffer. But it is what it is. I'm glad to see Penn State is good again. They're relevant again. I like when Penn State is good. I like when Michigan is good. Um, because no, you it's don't, good Ross. for college football. No, you don't. Iowa doesn't matter. Has it's Iowa ever won a football. championship? 1960-ish. Is Iowa a state? 1960-ish. Man, I'm, I'm sorry because it got caught in my throat. Yeah. I feel like I was throwing up a little bit. 1960-ish, I believe. 1960-ish. Dude, oh, are, you Ohio, are, are you an Iowa Craig, State fan? you're reaching fan? for straws here. Are, you're not even an Iowa so, fan. So are you an got Iowa a... State fan? Because you don't even know when you're on fucking Iowa school. Fuck Iowa State, bro. They deny my college application. Fuck those assholes. Have you ever had a Heisman winner? Yeah, Niall Kindred. That's why he won the Heisman. That's why the stadium what, what was named after him. Do you know? Fuck, I don't know, 1934. <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking drunk as shit right now. Yeah, I'm fucking pulling at Dan Holloway right yeah, now. Yeah, you are. Let's get Canals. Canals, you want to come up? Come on up, dude. Come on up. Richard, you stay. Yeah, Craig, you're, you're house right now. We got to get a Penn State fan in here. We got to switch it in and out. 1960 for Iowa? That was it. Somebody Googled it. I love that somebody Googled 1960 for Iowa. She's, they still had segregated water fountains during that time. Craig, you son of a bitch. Tell everybody who you are. Um, uh, Brian Canals. Brian Canals. How long you been a drinker, bro? Uh, four or five years. Four or five years. How <laughs> fucked up is everybody? Everybody's already rocking back and forth. Ah, you know, when when you got years. Zimas and Jollies and they didn't even make this shit this year, yeah. you're a little drunk. Uh, let me, so let me ask you, since you're the only Penn State fan here, does Penn State win today? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm going to be reality-wise. Yeah. I just wanted to be close. He knows. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're the most college, I mean, most complete college football team. Hey, shit happens. 
But I just wanted to be close. You just wanted to be close. I, I get that. I understand that. This is not 16, 17, or 18. <laughs> it's not going to be determined by five points. You're going to get fucking house Not today. by a block. House, house field goal. It's not supposed to rain until <laughs> halftime. You're going to be down by fucking 30 at halftime. So that's a great point, right, with the rain. Because the only game that I thought Ohio State had problems in was the Wisconsin game. Correct. Because it was a fucking monsoon. Yes. You were here at that game. Correct. Since you know it's not going to rain until halftime, do you come out Ohio State and just light it up? Oh, full throttle. We have had that's no problems. Think, right? We've had no problems at the beginning. I think we've given up at the max 14 points in the first half yeah. of a game. The most we've given up is 21 twice, and it was to Rutgers because at halftime we were done. Seconds and thirds were in. And then fucking Lane Kiffin. We were just playing with him a little bit. Yeah, let him say, oh, him. you used to be in the SEC. But, you know, we'll let you score 21 points. But other than that, no. Yeah, why not? Why you not? Know. Hey, the first half is always the best for Penn State. Yeah, but OSU used to be a second half team. We're not that anymore. It's We're a not new anymore, yeah. day, bitch. But I, I like your era. honesty though, because when you when I, and I try to be honest about my own team, right? I didn't think when we played Clemson a couple years ago in the playoffs, I was like, ah, we're not there yet. Nope. I don't. I don't I don't think we're that good to beat no, them. Our defense was horrible back I then. I appreciate the honesty because usually it's a homer mentality of like, hey man, fuck. Uh, but you traveled. How far? How far did you come from to go this game? Springfield. Oh no shit, that's it. Yeah. Oh, all right, right down no, the road. Yeah, I live in Springfield now. How are you a but Penn State fan? I just live in Springfield. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always a Penn Stater. Yeah, you're always no, a Penn Stater. I, no, I've been here since '96 in Ohio. Oh no shit. Yeah. Oh wow. I mean, but, did you graduate from Penn State? Nope. Okay. No, just always a fan. Maybe convert. Had relatives. My relatives are all from State College and East. And East. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, look, I, I like it. I appreciate your honesty. Richard Denoff is on Zemas. I'm, I'm chucking Zemas. You don't have to be quiet. This is all on it's camera. All right. I'm chucking Zemas. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This I'm, is I'm, all on I'm, camera. I'm pulling, I'll tell you what, you swap it out. My sister is I'm here. Come on them. in. <laughs> Michelle, come on in. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like how you had to grab your drink. Come on in. Come on in. She's got, like, I think it's Zima and apple pie. Yeah, yeah, Zima and apple pie. And you got to hold claw. it right there. White Claw. White Claw. Ooh, you're it's going hard, whiskey, baby girl. And it's got some apple. Ross, have you ever, apple looked, have you yeah. ever looked your sister in the eyes and said that they're beautiful? I, I, no. I, I Yeah. You look beautiful today, yeah. Michelle. I'm proud beautiful of you. Eyes. I am proud of you. Eyes. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Uh, how long? You've lived in Columbus almost your entire life, right? My entire life. 42 years. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no, you got to keep right it that up. close. Oh, okay. Right Hello. 42 years. What's your prediction on the game today? Uh, we're going to win. You're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> What's, what do you think the score is going to be? Uh, uh, we're going to win. It's going to be a blowout. Blowout. I'm going 49 to 0. 49 to zero. Shit. Okay, yeah, 49 zero. to zero. I like yeah. that. I yeah. can see it happening. I li yeah, I yeah. could too. After Wisconsin a couple I years could ago, too. I could too. Right? I think Chase Young is back. I think he tears out someone's anus today. I think it's pretty fucking yeah. crazy. Um, where, where are you at? So people can come find you in Ohio. Because you're at B-Dubs. I'm at Buffalo Wild Wings, Avery Road in Dublin. Come yeah. 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 I love that spot. Friday, I'm there. Yeah. So, um, bu so Buffalo wing Wild Sports. Wings, if you live in Columbus, Ohio, on Avery Road in Dublin, all the away games, come visit her. Yes, right. come, ask come visit her. Ask for Michelle. Ask for, ask, Michelle. ask for my my sister. Ross's sister, Michelle. Ask light for it, me. Light it the fuck up light there. Light the fuck up. Um, <laughs> she will take care of you. How crazy do people get on game days? Do you have to work game crazy. days? Crazy. Crazy, I, right? I don't anymore because I want to watch the games. That's a thing, too, where you're just like, you hey, man, I want to. No matter yeah. what you think, you cannot watch it while you're yeah. working. Yeah. You got to yeah. stay busy. You're not. Yeah. Um, hey, thank you for coming out today. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna bring in we're gonna bring in some guests now. Let's let's um, bring in Brett Nagy. He Brett was Nagy, in the army. Come on in. In yeah. Hawaii, come he on likes in, to do brother. His dance videos. We're gonna bring him in hardcore. Come on in, brother. So Brett used to Brett used to party in Hawaii when he was Sir? active duty for Sir? Ohio State Buckeyes. He will get it going on. Did you? Hello. Can you hear me? Nope. Nope. You got to talk S into that. Speak nope. loud, sir. Still being silent. Uh, yeah. that, yep. Can't move your mouth. You guys got me? Nope. Don't got you. <laughs> Hello? There you there go. There you go. He's back. Yeah. So you're de you're decked out. How, how long have you been a Buckeye fan? Uh, since I can remember. No shit. Yeah. Since I was a little kid. And I remember so, uh, 
watching uh, like Ohio State versus uh, Michigan games when I was younger, and I remember crying as a kid if we lost. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, you, yeah, you cried. So, you, yes. You cried as a kid. A, a lot and of as did. an adult. And as an adult. Not, and about, as a, not about football, though. Just uh, No, I understand. Sexual ex- explorations, all that other yeah. shit. Yeah. How long have you been in Drinker Bros? Uh, I want to say like three or four years. Three or four years? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get Buckeye sunglasses, too. What the fuck? Yeah. I was, I was literally just looking at my fanny pack. Y- you got glitter. The, you got the whole shit. Yep. Uh, you got the breast cancer. You have a flake. Can we see this? He's got a... A, a play call. It's, Listen, hey, what's if, your you, guys security if you clearance? do the play call, the first play is fake handoff to Denoff, which is yep. me, <laughs> and then hit Derek on the deep crossing route, which Derek is another drinking bro. I mean, so it's he incredible. uses actual drinking bros on his play calls. We don't fuck around here at Ohio State. No, you know, I'm just Why? telling you, you guys no. don't enough. do that. Losers. You just don't do enough. The, wow. the, the fact that you have this is is amazing. By you, the way, you guys don't have them. No, we don't. You do. I, we don't. We don't have them. Wait. So, the difference is this young man right here starts the day before. Yes. He was first row at the basketball game last night. Were you really? Yeah. Did we win? Oh yeah, we killed him. I, 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 I got 30. fucked up last time. I'm gonna be real. Oh, I was. I'm gonna be real. I, I went hard till about 1 a.m. Yep. Where it was just like, hey man, we're gonna like where the valet just leaves your car out front and, and the keys in it. And he's just <laughs> like. Can That's the wonderful the thing about thing? just being able to show up and I go. I couldn't drive last night. You can just show up and go. But I couldn't drive at all. When I showed up at 3 a.m., he was asleep in his truck. Yep. Oh, yeah. When I leave at 7 p.m. after tearing down, he'll be asleep in his truck. Yep. Easily. Easily. Uh, look, kids, as always, we got some sponsors who pay for this whole sponsors. fucking shit wagon to be on the air. It's, it's, it's crazy, right? It's BF crazy. Goodrich. No, sir. It almost <laughs> seems too hard to imagine that we have sponsors. Our chief sponsor. The, our chief sponsor. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. So I personally. If you I, don't have a ghost bed. I personally have a ghost bed Lux. Yes. And they gave me the protective cover for free. For free. For free. I have two Yorkies. They shit and piss everywhere. Fucking clutch, bro. Do you have kids? No, no kids. No kids. Just dogs. So you let the dog sleep in the bed? Yes. Okay. So my wife was out of town. She works for the Air Force civilian size the other day. There we go. I woke up to a six-month-old Yorkie pissing on my head, blanket, and fucking pillow, and everything. I usually pay and for that, that action. that cover is the best fucking thing ever. And then when you take it off and clean it, like, it was 62 in my house. My bed was 50 degrees. Best fucking sleep ever Richard, cooling mattress uh, you can't best. beat it i know you can't beat it's it it's crazy right you know so i tell people on the show i'm like look man i would not tell you to buy something of this cost oh exactly it was shitty no because i couldn't do that and you can't get so, so i go went to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today get yourself a mattress richard richard's got it we I, we have in every room of our house 36 month no interest pay as you go program no one on the interwebs is offering that you if you're military it. or first responder you can actually fifteen percent off. Did you take? Did you take the deals? No, I paid cash. Did you really? Yep, I paid cash. The yeah. wife works for the Air Force. She's my sugar mama. Hell yeah, paid cash for that. Hell shit. yeah, Piece but you shit. use the discount, right? I definitely yeah. use the discount. Everybody asks me all the time, like, "Hey man, do you use your own promo code for shit?" I'm like, "Yeah, you have to." Goddamn the, right, the I product's do. awesome. I know, I know. Big fan. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Mattresses, pillows, you name it. Blah blah. Uh, we're getting wet with it. Next up is LukeBelair.com. Luke L-U-C-B-E-L-A-I-R-E.com forward slash drinking bros. Champers. Champers, bud. It's the Champagne, best in the business. wine, best in the business. The rosé is the most sold ever. And not number one in the world. Number one in the world. Number you one can't in the world. beat it. it is, I was going to bring some, but I'm fucking greedy, and I kept it at my house for I myself. W- I wouldn't do it Sorry. if I were you. I, like, Sorry. I, w- I wouldn't give that away. I bring enough apple pie. Yeah. Fuck everybody else. No, you, but you're good. It's also, like, it, it looks so expensive. You're like, I'm not giving this to these dirt bags. You just buy the 12-pack so that it. you can have it. So if you go to a Thanksgiving party, you go to a Christmas party, yeah. like, hey, I'm worth a million bucks. Look at this Luke Belair. I know. It's amazing. Uh, go to LukeBelair.com forward slash drinking bros today. Uh, look, just buy a, a fucking case of it for the holidays. Every party you go to, you're already set. Um, you're, you're good to go. You bring one of those bottles, and you're like, oh, shit. With the promo code, it knocks it off like 30%, and it's uh, $26 a bottle. That's it. And you look like the fucking hero in the neighborhood of the holiday parties. LukeBelair.com forward slash 
Drinking Bros. Bros. Last but not least, we've got expressvpn.com forward yes. slash Drinking Bros. Protect Ex your digital butthole. It does. So it'll protect your cell phone. Doesn't matter if you have an iPhone, if you have a freaking Google phone, yeah. if you have an Android, it'll protect you. No matter where you get off, stuff gets stolen. Insurance, freaking everything. I've had my freaking shit stolen and it's still I got I got ExpressVPN. No, not happening again. When I was in Vegas, stolen. When I was in Illinois, stolen. When I was in New York, stolen. It will never happen again because of ExpressVPN. Dude, I should Richard should be the new goddamn co-host. Uh, man, he is on it, dude. Dan got too fucked up last night. Grandpa Dan, this is a little too early for him. Uh, blackouts. That, that's what happens on Drinking Bros. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Richard Denoff Nothing is on it. Do. Go to expressvbn.com forward slash Drinking Bros today. Protect your digital butthole. Runs this seamlessly in the, the back of your iPad. Fucking TVs, computers. Every name it. Not TVs. That's a lie. You run it on everything that has a, a digital IP address. $7 a month. You get three for free at expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros. Richard, what's the most blacked out somebody's got at one of your tailgates? We have had people this morning. pass out in the grass. <laughs> We've had people pass out in their trucks. This young man right here people lose tickets. has fallen asleep in his truck with a lipper in his mouth. And I literally have video of him trying to put a cup in a cup holder for at least 90 seconds, and I was telling him, sir, a little bit forward, a little bit forward. Allegedly. And then I had to help him out. No but way. But we've had people lose tickets, like you just said. That happened today. My phone's gone off 37 times. <laughs> I have at least 20 missed calls. Drinking bro lost tickets today. That's what happens. You get blacked out drunk, you end up in somebody's mouth. There, so, all right, so there was a guy who was near blackout at like 7 a.m. That's the one who lost his tickets. Oh, he yep. lost his tickets already. Yeah. He's yep. called 15 times. You're fucking kidding me. Not at all. Is that him? $600. He paid $300. I paid $300 for him to get these fucking tickets just so he uh, can come wait, hang out. Wait, do you have tickets? I have tickets, yes. Okay. Where are your tickets at? 27A. Oh, 27A. All right, yes. cool. So you got good tickets. Yes. Who are you, who are you taking in? It's not him. Where's he at? No, uh, he would have been in 23C. Okay, cool. So he's... Running around looking for him. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gone. So he's in 27 AA. Our other tailgate, Brethren Craig, who runs helps runs the tailgate. Well, he's, yeah. he's the tailgate dad. Shout out, Craig. I help him run the tailgate. Shout out. Not Delesky. Fuck Delesky right now. But uh, wait, he, wait, he yeah. sits in 27 AA. His wife's been a nurse at Ohio State for 25 years, so okay. they have the best tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when you see Buckeye Guy and that fucking ass hat, with the fucking cowboy hat. That's What's Buckeye your stance guy. on Buckeye guy? So, Buckeye man. You know what I'm talking about, right? Buckeye yeah. guy is the ass hat with the cowboy hat. Yes. He's a prick. I've gone into that section, yeah. and I've sat in that section, I'd say 25 times. In the same section. I've had him shoulder me to get in. I've seen him push through people. He fucking signs shit for only players and stuff. You know, at funerals. Yep. You don't do that. You don't go to the Circleville Pumpkin Show and ask people for five dollars to sign a picture. You're not famous, buddy. You put your pants on the same way as us. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, Buckeye Man's where it's at. Larry Lokai, he freaking donates freaking necklaces to schools. He goes around to all the schools. He donates. You know, there's so many people that are so much better than some asshat. So it's really funny you say that. I because I've never liked Buckeye Man or Guy or whatever, yeah, guy. whatever he goes by, right? This black dude in this cowboy hat, whatever, right? Correct. Uh, and behind you, there's your boy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's your yep. boy. So I get, I get in. This is a true story. Four years ago, I buy tickets for the game, um, and my buddy's like, oh, hey, man, great seats, whatever. You'll be first row. And I was like, all right, cool. And uh, jokingly, I said to my buddy who I took, I go, I'm fine with wherever we go. I just don't want to sit next to Buckeye Man, you know? Jokingly. 110,000 people in the stadium. No way I'm sitting next to Buckeye you Man. You were right beside him, weren't you? Get down there. I am. Na I mean, I am next to him. Ugh. Seat to seat, knee to knee, cheek to. And I'm like, oh my God. Well, here's the thing they keep cutting away from the game to us and blah, 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 blah. I got to talk to him. It was 97 degrees for that game. Oh, shit. Opening day. He's sweating through his Buckeye gear. He stinks. Oh, I bet. And he knew where every single photographer was. Yep. He knew their name. Yep. And he goes, uh, like the Columbus Dispatch, um, he goes, look, y'all going to put me on the front page, right? Front page? Opening game, front page for the for me? And I was just like. That's all he cares about. Yes. 
And, and then I've, he, he I've sat eight, by him so many times, he doesn't even know the fucking alma mater. Dude, he has uh, eight by tens that are pre-signed that he's, like, giving yeah. out. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. the worst. No. I, it, it, the it's, freaking worst person crazy. It's weird, right? What's that? I have to piss. Oh, you got to piss. Can we, have some, can we have somebody step in for Jables. two seconds? Come on out, Jables. Oh, Jables, come step Jables. in where I have to go pee. Richard has to piss. Jables, come on up. Come on up. Richard's got to piss. He's been going oh, hard okay. today. Oh, hold, okay. I'll hold his spot. Welcome, Jables. I'm sorry. What, lo, lo, so what's the oh real God, story? What happened lost. to Dan? Okay. Well. He, he's, he just slept in, right? No. You guys, I promise he was down there. We, we were there. At what time? So we, for, for what time did you, 7 a.m. Are we really going to go through this right now? Yeah, yeah, I guess we're hashing out some shit, guys. Give us a second. Dan got blackout, I, th I think, right? No, last night? Something happened. Alec and I loaded Dan in from would never, right? what 7 happened? to 7.30. Dan would never, okay. We loaded in from 7 to 7.30. We probably took off. I think we got here at like 7.45. He said he was down there at 7.25. Al Alec, shake the camera, yes or no on that one. Yeah. He said he was down there at 7.25. He said, I've been in. Nope. You know who was? Alec, our producer, loading in all the equipment, bright and early, shipper as fuck. And, uh, yeah, we, we left about 7.30, got here at 7.45. Okay. And so, I, and Dan, I, you know, I talked to Dan, and he goes, I, no, I was there, and I was like, I just checked the security cam footage. We were there. We were there. Nothing you security can do. Security cam. He's going back to the hotel to but actually Jables, check. But Jables, so I, I want to pride you. I want to pride you on this show, because you went hard with me last night till 1, 1 30, right? Yeah. And You're I here? do not. I had a couple glasses of wine, guys. Yeah. Where'd you guys go? Uh, we we uh, fr friends we of ours. We went to an unknown unknown little, steakhouse. Uh, Ruth's we, we they rented Christus? out the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ruth's is Christus's. It was the only place we could get a reservation. It was yeah, because yeah, Penn State, Ohio State, everybody's in town for Thanksgiving. Yep. Right. Everybody's getting fucked up, and oh yeah, yeah hell yeah, TV. welcome dude, welcome all right, brother, all the way from say, Texas. Yeah. So I want to pride you. You went hard as fuck last night. You were chipper as shit. You got up in the morning. You're here, and you look beautiful. Thank you, but that takes time, and so it's hard. Not mad at it, though. To, okay. So we gave you extra time, right? So yeah. you were good. You were good to go. Okay. I'm good to go, then. Yeah, look at look at you. You look, you live, you're living your best life. Living my best life. Did you bring your raincoat, life? though? I did bring. I brought all the stuff, but I'm great. warm in here. Yeah, it's great in here, dude. I'm like sweating, and then I got lost because this isn't the same place, right? No, it's not the same place. So, so we got I was a new place going for Richard. To the other place, dude. Yeah. We need a Buckeye makeover, though. Yeah, we got a Buckeye makeover, Richard. Yeah, I got it. I, I tell you it. what, take those out right now and let's apply them to Jesse's cheeks live on air. She needs to be a little Buckeye girl. I'm going to exactly. tell you a story, Jesse. The, the most attractive I've ever been is when you wore those to the the Sweet 16 game on your cheek. Probably the best sex ever that night. Oh, okay. Probably the best sex ever. Yeah. You go right underneath the eye. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Richard. Not her. Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. Why would you Thank spit you. on it first? Look Richard? at that. Why did you have to lick it? You didn't have to lick it. Why were you looking me in the eyes when you, you did it? You didn't have to lick that sticker, <laughs> Richard. It doesn't like the makeup. That's just beautiful essence. Oh, okay. The sauce. Thanks. That one's a little off. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's just trying to make us jealous. There you go. They're sisters, not twins. No, no, no. She's no, she's good oh, with that. Yeah, the twosies. You, the you onesie twosies. Some, I'll put one on. Go ahead. Here we go. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw one on to, to get on. into it. I love it. And how that, you doing? How you, Jables? How you doing this weather today? It's not bad, right? Look, I'm fine. And again, I was running. I was lost. I was cursing, and that really gets the blood going. Yeah. So I'm good right now for sure. Uh, but and it's not supposed to rain till later, so we're good. It's not. I think halftime is what they said. They said dinner time like five. It's no changed. shit. Come on, is that it real? It. It's literally yeah. changed you every hour. Yeah, stayed the hotel a little bit here. longer so I could tell you guys the real deal. And watching the weather, and they kept pushing it back. Yeah, so. there you go. Would you like me to get you a drink? Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, drink would be great. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends. I see what you're... I think White Claw uh, People are making drinks. Everybody's getting do. fucked oh, up with drinking Richard. moonshine. Oh. Oh, he's pointing. Oh, what are you pointing at? I don't think he asked Nagy, you. what are you pointing at? Natterdays. Yep. Natterdays. What, okay. what, what is that? Richard, grab... She's got to have the zero carbs. We're all watching our girlish figures. Wow. I'll take a claw. Thank claw you. me up. I'll take that raspberry. I like a, I like a there's no There's no laws when you're drinking the claws. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, Nagy, sw swap it up with Richard. Richard, come back on in here. Can you get me a beer first before I swap out? Oh, man. Oh, my Look God. Look at you. He was Sally. loving it. 
Look at you, Sally. Come on in, Richard. He's trying to hug. I mean, people are. That's a drunk hug this early. Drunk hug. That's a drunk hug. We this got early. it. Drunk hug. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Drunk hug. Oh, Jables, I have to say one thing. Yeah. You're way too good for this asshole. Thank you so much. Everybody says that to me. Yeah, everyone really does say like, that to me. If anybody every starting to I get a if anybody about should it. be an A-list movie star married to a B-list movie star, yeah, it should yeah, be yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Everybody Thank says you. it They're like, man, Jesse's way too good for you. It's like yeah. I am. Young, yeah, jacked, like right? I'm oh. a 26, you, 27 year old you man. You can't get any more jacked than this. Crazy, Super right? young, yeah. Holy shit! I know. I How many lying. push-ups does he do a day? I know. With a line. Everybody's just like, Jesus Christ, man! He's throwing your, your kids in the air, and you're like, please, Ross, don't I'm drop them through the goddamn ceiling, and they haven't come back yet. They haven't come back yet. Yeah. So you guys. Uh, so hey, so tell me about the tailgate fight, by the way, because um, you've been Jesse and I. What I think the very first time we went to the tailgate was what two years ago. No, four years ago. Four? Yeah. Holy shit, four it's years been ago. that long? Yeah. yeah. God 15. damn it, we're like yeah. family 15. now at this exactly. point. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, you have my cell phone. Like, we're friends in yep. real life. We're like, friends in real life. But um, there, you have to be respectful, ladies and gentlemen. I don't fuck with him until he fucks with me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't blast some dick pics in the middle of the night. I know he's married. I know he's got dogs that sleep in his if bed. If he did, my boner would be so large. Yeah. So uh, you guys now? were over here, and then you moved yes. down. Yes. But you're 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 having a, a fight with the university over tailgating. What's going on now? Okay, so the if you walk down, we're between Lane and Woody on Fife. If you walk down Woody towards the stadium off of 315, I know none of you know what the hell this is, unless you're from Ohio State. There's baseball fields. Yes. Well, we currently have pay to tailgate, which is basically you pay a bunch of fucking money, you show up, the shit's there, you get fucked up, you hang out. So. Today, they walked around and they handed out these little pamphlets. These little pamphlets say, hey, we're taking half of your space. The entire front half of your lot, stolen. Goodbye. Sorry. Because we're building where the baseball fields are now at. So the two gentlemen to my left played from 72 to 75, and he came over and he told me about this. Okay. And he's like, you got to hook us up. He goes, if you get here before we get here. Mark off all of this area. Ah. Same for me if I get here before you get here. Okay. So they're literally taking half of our lot. And they're saying, sir, if you have $2,000, we will set up six tents, 32 chairs, a TV, and a heater for you. Wow. Yeah. No shit. No shit. Fucking okay. A, dude. It's, it's a business with the university. I, I'm sure it is. And I, I assume all tailgates are like that. Because uh, we went to Penn State. You were there. Yes, You correct. partied with us. We went out uh, into the field. Yep. The tailgate. We had a, we rented a camper. And even the camper was a business at Penn State. Dead serious. So we go, and they were like, hey, for $1,200, you can rent a camper for the entire weekend. We will set it for you, food, drink, et cetera. And then it will already be prepped. So you can trash it. And then you just leave on Sunday morning. Because it was a Saturday night night game. Yes, sir. I get a knock on the door. 6 a.m. A little rap on the beak. Bing, 6 a.m. I'm dead asleep. Both of you. It You're took ready to rage. 25 knocks. You're, I saw, I'll say this. Like, out, out of all of us Buckeyes, you're the biggest diehard there is. Where it's like, all right, Richard, rain, yes. shine, whatever. And yes. then all, because I, I follow you on, on Facebook, obviously. Correct. You'll usually post weird shots at like 10 p.m. at night of you getting fucked up with five, six guys in this tent. Yeah. Is that going down tonight as well? So. It'll. We started at 3 a.m. I probably won't leave here till 8 p.m. We no were talking. Shit. So Craig Deleski had said something to Dan. Oh, it was Dulesky's like maybe we'll do dinner. A good time. If Where we do, he? if we do dinner, we'll Uber there. Yeah. If not, on a normal night, it's six to seven. Like I've been sitting in the parking lot. My wife's called at 6:30 in the in the evening. Yeah. Noon, noon game. Hey, honey, where you at? I'm like, I'm still drunk in my car. I'm not driving. I'll see you in a little bit. 8.30 at night, I show up at the house. Hey, what's up? Gone, right? I'm sleeping. Yeah, you're <laughs> out. Beautiful. You can't, it's, so you can't let, do it. Let me ask you this, because Jesse goes through this. Does your wife have, have the same thing during college football season that Jesse has where she's like, I feel like I lose my husband for yes. 12 weeks? Yes, she yeah. bitches and complains, but yeah. I look at her and I say, honey, it's seven days out of 365. You're going to deal with it. I don't know. There seems to be a fucking game on every day somewhere. Well, Somebody's well, NFL. He's he's a little bit more important. 
<laughs> a lot more important. What do you mean? Yes. Than me? Tell her. Well, Richard, what I told him are earlier. Are you okay? Can I touch her leg? Can yeah, I touch her leg? What are you talking about? Touch hers? When your podcast comes out, he yep. better look the fuck out because you're going to fucking decimate his list. Lamo, thank you. So, hey, by the Blammo. way, so we, we get here this morning. Uh, will to, you be on? Oh, yes. Okay. I will do whatever you need to do. I'll, I'll, I'll drive down. To Richard's okay, point, good. before bef- when we got here, we were setting up. We had about eight different people saying, hey, man, when's the Drinking Bro Eds podcast with Jesse starting? And, oh. and Tiffany Hart. And I'm like, yeah, well, Tiffany's the shit. I mean, you and Tiffany the best. are going to have the best. Listen, so when you, she gets you may shit destroy together. drinking bros. You may have 15, stop 20 it. million listeners. Stop it. Oh, no, stop it. Yeah. You're amazing. So d- does your wife listen you. to podcasts? She does not because my wife is my complete opposite. She is total introvert. She's smart as shit. Mm-hmm. Don't know how I freaking married her. She's got an ass the size of a double wide. And I love it. Yeah, he loves it. Calm no, he down. loves it. Calm he does. Down. Love it. It, it is ass eating season in Richard's house yep. every day of the year. I didn't have to eat ass on a bet, even though I would. Yeah. Because Ohio State been beat Penn State last year, and that asshole isn't even fucking here to wear his Buckeye necklace while he lost. So D'Anthony 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 yeah. won't be here. Blackout. If he is. He got blackout. Because I would bet him he's again. He's my friend. I, well, he's your he friend. He took me all the way here. Too early. I'm going to have to defend him, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I Too would early. bet him right now that we would bet. I would buy him an Ohio State jersey that says D'Anthony. If he would bet me right now that we would win this game by at least 14. I know the spread's 18. I'm going to give him 19. Four. Spread is up to 19 oh, my now. Goodness. Yes. So everybody's betting Ohio State. The spread is now up to 19 right before we go on air. <sighs> That's insane. That's insane. I say we cover, by the way. I would give him that we cover. I would it. give him 14 points, even though I know he's going to have to listen to this because he's not here. Yeah. I'll give him 14 points. Next year when we go to Penn State, Ohio State, at Penn State, Yeah. if Ohio State wins today by 14, he has to wear an Ohio State jersey. If we don't cover by 14, I would wear a Penn State jersey. Okay. He's not here to, agree, to agree to that. He's and not. I know for a no, fact. I'll, I'll agree to it for him. You're I'll agree to agree it for him. for him. It's fine. Yeah. Man, okay. I'll, I'll agree Love to it, it for him. You, you know. know. Thank um, you, Dan. Him and Jared have had AIDS like the last two weeks. So AIDS isn't real. What are you talking about? That's what I said. That's put some fucking Look, sugar on it. Wa- get out of here. When he <clears throat> got in the Uber to go back, I was like, take me. Ah <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> Look at how beautiful but it now, is. Right you know, now. this is I'm like not. That's what happens great. when your yes. husband's from this town. Yes. Yeah. You go too hard the night before. You get, well, yeah, you have no. to. We discussed we have, it. We have friends in town. Yeah, we discussed this all the time. I we discussed okay. it many a times. I just, like, you can't have a noon game at Ohio State and it be a top ten freaking game well, because, like motto, Ross said, it's just too too much too it's early. Too much too early. It's my too much. motto is you can have fun when you're dead because I love sleeping so much. Jesse, lo- no one loves sleeping more than Jesse. I can I'll have a lot that. of fun when I'm dead. Are you yeah. one of them? Sleeping are you one of them amazing. gals where if Ross gets in the car to drive, you're asleep within ten minutes? Yeah, definitely. But he does keep it like an ice box, so it's hard to I do. do that. But uh, yeah, even in, even in the even sleep, in the weather here, I go into a hotel and I put it on 68, and I'm like, yo, I need 68. 68. You know what it is in my 60. house right now? What is it? 62. Is it really? Oh yeah, but we're insulated degrees, like a. You know, but. Okay, so it's it's college freaking Saturday. What it type is. of games we got going on today? It is. So uh, look, have we had this guy on? Like yeah, the, well, he he will be. Oh yeah, okay. he's, he was. He's been on the show. Gary was on last yeah, year. Gary was on last come year. Up here. Um, the, the 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 odd thing about today is this: the best game of the day is this game, but it's not at eight o'clock. Correct. So why did they do well, that? So, do they hate you? So no, listen. No. Fox has ownership of Big Ten, so they they paid the most money out of Big Ten to declare what games they want at their noon. Yeah. So we are the first game ever at noon to have ESPN, Fox Sports, and Big Ten, which could be Pac-12, whatever you are. You're not Big Ten, so you don't freaking yeah. matter. Yep. Yeah. At one location at noon. First time ever right here. Doesn't happen anywhere else because you suck because you're not Ohio State. No. N- not only are you not Ohio State, uh, <laughs> the record for game day for ESPN game day is Ohio State, um, and we're ahead by five. So we've had five more appearances on College Game Day than a- any other school. And yes. Game Day is here, right? Game it Day is, is here. Yeah. Fox Noon is will, whatever the fuck will that, that thing is here. You walk from this tailgate to I the stadium. I think I did. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Oh, thank you. A lot of You're hair welcome. there. The uh, let's bring You're you amazing. in right You're there. Amazing. Love you. Yeah, come <laughs> on in. 
You got a backpack. It looks like you hiked in like Christopher Chambliss. It's very uh, 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 cool, cool, hard song. <laughs> getting ready for those people. Russ, I think he should stay on. Yeah, you stay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, hand this. There we go. Hand this in. Come on down. You had a backpack in. Love you. Love you, baby. You got to hold it about an inch from your mouth. There you go. Yeah, it was about. Uh, I parked about two miles out. So. Uh, if you way, walk I'm, two I'm, miles? I'm in a grass lot behind a Panera Bread down there. You just described the JFK <laughs> shooting to get here. He did. Now, listen, I had to bribe the cops and a lot of tenants to get your ass in this and lot. And I appreciate it. You're welcome. I parked a, a rental car. That's the beauty of a rental car. You can park that anywhere. You don't care. True. Don't care at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it got towed. I'll just get another one. Park the rental car wherever you want, and you're like, ah, we're good, right? You know what? You we're don't good, have a right? Patterson and Holloway yes. button. Uh -oh. so you need to put that stuff right, on. on. Take a Patterson Holloway button and enjoy your you life, know? dude. See if I can do this one hand. New Hanover County. County. County School Board. Taking, we are draining the creek. for that shit. Yes. Draining the creek. Boom. There you go, there Kurt. There it is. As Ross there is throwing, it throwing is. them to fans in the crowd. So are you an Ohio State fan or are you just drinking, bro? Ohio State and a drinking, bro. Fuck yeah. Welcome, man. What's Thank your you. name? Tell the audience. Josh Wilson. Josh Wilson. Yes, sir. How long have you been in Drinker Bros? Um, since about podcast three or four. No shit. Yeah. That's early, fucking early awesome, days. man. He's old school. Uh, were you military? Yes. Air Force. Uh, did ten and a half years. Shit. Way to go. What do you do now in Ohio? Um, I actually work in Wilmington, down in Wilmington, Ohio. Uh, yeah. Airborne, or well, it's Ames now, but I do uh, aircraft maintenance on cargo aircraft, passenger aircraft. That's great. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. It's what I, it's what I did in the military. It's what I did, you know, it's what I did as a contractor after I got out. That's fantastic, man. That's fantastic. Do you listen every day? Um, I try to. I'm a few podcasts behind. I was, I was actually, actually just uh, listening to the last Sports Companion one, and I'm kind of curious what you're, you're, you and Dan were talking about the Clayton Crawford uh, yes. phone call that you couldn't talk about. Ooh. Yes. Can uh, we talk, kinda curious can we talk about, about that? that now or after the podcast? We No. So I can tell this story in one week. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a big announcement. He's got a, he just finished um, not only producing but starring in a film. And it's a big announcement about that film. And I am unbelievably proud of him. And uh, it is a big, big deal. I'll tell you off air uh, right. as, as soon as we well, get off. But uh, Will it be something that you he, can announce But I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, we'll announce it on the show. And, and he'll actually be on to announce it. Oh, okay, um, cool. Awesome. About his film and, and everything else. And, uh, and kind of what his life was like after Lethal Weapon. And a uh, great guy. And just fucking salt of the earth. He became a grandfather yesterday. Really? Yeah. Um, I, didn't think he was, I didn't think he was that's, that old. That's I awesome. I mean, he's not old. I was going to say, no. I mean, what is he's everybody? He's not old, but he, he's, he's got to be 28 plus plus, right? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> a couple summers older than me, no bigs. Yeah, but, you're, uh, you're, you're only 26, so we don't care about he, that. But he had uh, children, so he um, uh, married married someone with a child. The child uh, was older, so yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, so, so it was good. But he'll be on the show to uh, to discuss it, and uh Super proud of him. It's a great announcement. It's it's, it's cool. unbelievably positive. That's going to be so amazing. We're looking forward to it. How has Drinking Bros changed your life? Um, it's definitely introduced me to. I, I used to be. Uh, I used to live in Pennsylvania, so I know a bunch of the folks from uh, like uh, Bree. Yeah. From Pennsylvania or uh, uh, Western PA. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So I know I know a bunch of them. Uh, met a bunch of folks from. Went to a meetup, uh, one of the singles meetups a few years back um, down in Stafford, Virginia. Yeah, you met a did. bunch of them. So it was a good time. You know, I, I've met a lot of new people, made a lot of good contacts. How were the singles meet up? Did they get crazy? Um, I was only down there for the day. So, I mean, you know, I didn't. I wasn't down there for all the shenanigans oh, so that you happened. Didn't, you didn't stay for the bukkake? No, no, no. What uh, did happen? While we were there, a lot of drinking. Like, oh, they start, They woke up, started drinking. But with the singles, were they fucking a lot, too? That's what I heard. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. There was, there was a lot of, you know, they, they, you know, you get down there, you you hook up. I mean, what you do? Yeah, I, look, I'm at the point in my life personally where I almost don't trust anybody who's not a drinking bro. And any work that I want to have done, or if I'm buying something, I would rather buy it from a drinking bro. Where it's just like, hey man, I know quality's going to be good. I know it's everything's going to be good. It's that code of ethics it that is. people have. It is. Um, I just bought a table from uh, a, guy, a guy named Kelly Davis. Yes, oh. I saw it last night. Gorgeous. Yeah, oh, amazing. Amazing. Absolutely. Like, Handcrafted, the everything. The detail on that thing, I was like, oh, shit, Ross, I bought that for Jesse. That had to cost $15,000 at least. It's, it's, it's amazing. And, you know, and that, amazing. that's the way I feel. Like, um, there, was a, there was a problem with my house with, like, a handyman or something. Like, we live in a small town, so it's hard to get people to come and do shit. Put up a post in Drinking Bros. One of the Drinking Bros, Mike Russ, was like, hey, man, my handyman, I'll come out and fix your house. Oh, yeah. 
Um, and it's, it's incredible, like things like that over and over and over again. And that's kind of where I'm leaning now these days. So, well, yeah, I just saw a post, uh, Eric Totel, he just did a post, uh, somebody, a drink, uh, drinking broette, I believe is coming into town and looking for, like, she needs a place to stay for, she's coming up for business or something. Yeah. So, you know, it's, oh, yeah. it's things like that. You see, you know, it's, it's a community to help people and that's, what's good about it's it. It's great, man. Um, and it's been a, it's been a fucking blast. Everywhere we go is like this. Um, and, and again, man, like you have my cell phone number. Correct. Like we talk, we talk all the time. If I'm coming into town, hey man, I got you. Come on in. We got fucking Zima, moonshine, everything you need. You're here. That's what it's like in, in literally every city. Now yeah. Richard is one of the very best tailgates in the country, so yeah. it's different. Yeah, we. Uh, There's only one. You only have one rival. You. We only have one rival. Tony Tamparello at LSU. <sighs> I'm gonna have to come and try. I. You know what? And so th- this is why I brought it up because I think you should come down. So next year. Is LSU didn't have any good home games this year? Just, just let me know, and I'll, I'll see if I can either drive or maybe I can afford to fly down. Maybe we'll. I'll we'll, tell you what, we'll fly but you down. If I act like a dick, we'll fly you down. Just know that his shit is not good enough. <laughs> ah, t- Tony's out there. You he know, sent me a picture this morning. But goes, does Tony does Tony put out a spread and say, Ross, all you gotta do is show up, because <laughs> you went to school here. Tony be like, Oh, Ross, can I have twenty dollars for the? F- Freaking hot dogs. He doesn't do it. Okay. He doesn't do it. Well, then we're going to fucking fight. All I'm going to say is it's no. going to be hard will, to compete. I will with train food. for the next fucking nine months and I will fuck it's hard this to Tony up. No, Tony Tamparello. No, Tony, is, sorry, is, is I love a you. Great drinking, bro. But he sent me a picture this morning because I, uh, I, don't, I don't know who LSU's playing today. But he sent me a picture hey, of a mufalada and he can goes, I, oh, hey, man. Can I stop you for four seconds? God. Hey, Tony, you only tailgate because our third string quarterback is now your starting quarterback. <laughs> Joe Burrow is there, dude. Mr. Ohio, he is the only quarterback I've ever seen in high school throw a pass to himself for a touchdown. Yeah. So, hey, let me ask you this. Do you think Joe wins a Heisman? Yes, sir. I do, too. He is. Yeah. He's absolutely amazing. I do, too. He's absolutely amazing because the scheme that they're in and because he transferred. Now, listen, now I'm not bitching because we have transfers in. All three of our quarterbacks are transfers. But as soon as Justin Field transferred in, Tate Martell transferred out, had the first job at Miami, lost it. Oh, well, sorry, bud. Yeah. That's what you get for being from Vegas. Burroughs, you were only the third-string quarterback. You were tied for first. You broke your hand. You're an amazing man. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that man, and he will fight till the end. So he'll bleed scarlet and gray, and then he'll bleed LSU colors till he dies. And, and I tell people this all, on the show all the time, like, you know, on the sports show in particular, like, hey, man, as an Ohio State fan, we all root for Burrow. Oh, dude, we do. I we actually do. want to play him in the national championship because I we would know love everything about to him. play him in a national yeah. championship, and I would love to beat him by three points. Nothing more. Three? Oh, yeah. I would love for it to be a nail biter. I do and not like that. That motherfucker right there. No. And then beat him by three points. I would love it. The happiest moments I have as a Buckeye fan is when I went by 70. <laughs> uh, I mean, I love when I'm by 70. <laughs> I can just chill out. I you can know, eat fucking taco <laughs> dip. The last time we won relax. a national championship, I vomited so hard, I busted every capillary it looked like i got kicked in the face by 13 fucking marines <laughs> that's not the way i want to spend the game i'm, I'm sorry that's you know i mean <laughs> no you know life's life bro life's hey, life. life happens it, it does. does life that happens does, man you know so do we want to get gary in here from yeah, last get year him in. gary hey gary gary, gary. gary. Swap, swap it up with gary gary come on in How man yeah there we go so gary was at the tailgate with me he traveled to penn state last year yes when we what up, what went up? to the camper. Audience fave. Um, I thought that was your real hair when I met you last year. Believe me, I've got two kids, and it's getting close to my real hair. It is. <laughs> what does it look like underneath that? Oh, uh, it's not oh, bad. Very short. It's, it's about the same. Yeah. It's about the same. Yeah, I got a brother who's younger than me. He's bald, so I'm just glad to have hair. Yeah. Yeah, well, look, if you're, if you're going bald, what I recommend is settle down. You married? He's got an old lady right there. He's got an old lady right there. there. First game this year. There you go. Heather's Heather's amazing. It's her first game? Yeah. Well, no, this year. This This year. year. So, Heather. Well, we only got one game left. Heather's probably one of my wife's absolute favorites. That's great. That's great. So, so let me ask you this. Because you're a diehard. I met you last year. You're a fucking blast of a guy. Is it the same where your wife is like, hey, man, you're taking it a little too far? Nah. Nah. No. No. Really? No. Because no. no. I'll get pictures of him 
new hats, and then I'll get pictures of her, new shoes. They'll have the shit laid out on their freaking yeah. hotel bed, and they'll be like, look at what we bought for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, she's got every high state shoe boot ever made. What's your prediction today? Because what this forty two seventeen. No shit. I didn't, I didn't shit, have to. I didn't have to. I didn't have to hesitate. Forty two seventeen. That was real fast. This yes. is the first game this year. Ohio State has all their players back, healthy and That's starting. True. Yes, it first is. First game. It is. Uh, Chase Young. Um, wow. Look, we've He's got a little fuck. ground to make uh, up. Chase Young, bit. Jeffrey Okuda. A little bit. It's, four four sacks today could put him back in that Heisman. Race. I would say Ooh. okay. We'll at least have one touchdown for turnover. Uh huh. And we'll have two takeaways total on defense. I agree. I agree. I I, I think that's going to happen as well. 42-17 could hold up. The weather keeps getting pushed. Yes. The weather stays good. If it rains not so ever, it's going to be a fucking blowout. Yeah. So, if it look. Yeah, it, I think that first quarter, everybody's got to fill their way out. Yeah. And get in too deep in the game. I think it, then uh, Ohio State will try to, uh, okay. try to uh, the score will be uh, 42-17. I think it will be close early. For, okay, 42-17, close early. I don't think so. I don't either, man. I think we're going to come out throttle on the throat. The only time we have ever slowed down is when our second and third strains in. And yeah. people are like, hey, what's going on? The score was 38-0 to zero in the first half. Yes, we put on our second strains at the end of the freaking first half. We did. No one else does that. We That's did. why Tua got hurt. I mean, Minnesota because threw Saban on this team. sucks. Minnesota threw on this team early. I think we'd come out and throw some long balls early. I think we could see some success there. Same, same. Hey, I want to I wanna have you on the show. Come on in. Come on in. We'll swap it Thank out. You, Gary. And that's an awesome oh, number, by yeah, the way. Yeah, brother. Love you. Thank Love you. That's I'll an put awesome these on number. Right now. Thank you for coming on, buddy. And he's got an awesome number. Yeah, welcome. You got 45. All right, on. hey, guys. Hey, guys. Cats and Moyer? What's that? 45? That's right. The boy, Arch Griffin. Arch Griffin. <laughs> I didn't know if you were going Katzenmoyer with it. You know, he's here. Yeah, only yeah, he's in yeah. Town. Only an Ohio State he's fan in town. would know Tell who Tell everybody Pete your name. Is. Hey, what's up? I'm Brendan Griffith. Yeah, Cincinnati, Ohio. Goddamn right. Brendan, is this your first Drinker Bros meetup? This is my first Drinker Bros meetup. What? Man, I, so you told me a great story. Is why I wanted to have you on. We were outside. You were like, "Look, man. Yeah, listen to the show since episode three. Die Hard." I showed up. I didn't know anybody. Everybody welcomed me with open arms. Absolutely. Drinking food, all that shit. Like, Absolutely. It's like this everywhere we go, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Describe your experience today. Oh, well, it's been great. So I uh, I was listening to the podcast, and I found out you guys were coming to Columbus yeah. to, do a, to do a live show. So I hit up a couple guys on Drinking Bows, Ohio, found out you guys were having a tailgate. Yes, sir. Shot my name out there, and... Uh, yeah, they welcome me with open arms. It's crazy, right? Came up last night, stayed in a hotel, got here about four four thirty this morning, and uh, showed no up, way. welcomed me with open arms. That's it was, how we do it, it bro. Great. That's, that's, that's what that's what it's like in every city we go to. And we try oh, to great. tell people we're that's like, what hey, man, Bros is about. Come on out, because everybody hits us up and asks of like, hey, do we need to bring anything? Do we need to do anything? And I was Absolutely. like, no, man, the drinking bros have you. Absolutely. All you have to do is come and show up, and it'll be amazing. Absolutely. So I'm psyched. I'm psyched about that. And I'm glad you're here, man. And, and next God, time bro. you just call me. And you can sleep in one of my spare bedrooms. You yes. don't have to pay for the hotel. For real, room. sweartheart. I'm serious. For real. Because <laughs> I've offered it to Ross and Jesse and all them. My house wasn't nearly as nice as my new house is. Yeah. And I know the Airbnb because they like to get right, fucked right, right. up the night before. Because, But, you know. And the sex is too loud. Yeah. They, uh-huh. they know uh-huh. too many people. Sex is too loud. Too many people. You know. Sex is too that loud. Luke that Luke Bell Air room, popping right. across my freaking living room. Yeah. My dogs would be drunk, and I don't want my dogs drunk because that That's Luke right. Bell Air will get you fucked up. Oh, fucked up. That's Your right. fucking house, man. Well, um, I got to tell you what, if I can, I'd like to raise a glass and a cheers. Go ahead. To drinking bros all over the country, all Hell over yeah. the world. Yes. Cheers. cheers. Let's yeah. put our glasses up. Let's have a cheers. Cheers, yep. everybody. Cheers. Drinking cheers. Bros all over the world, baby. Cheers. Uh, what right. do you do for a living? I'm a truck driver. No shit. Yes, sir. I've been truck driving for about five years. You like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, it's an awesome job. And man, what man. makes it even better is every week when uh, out of the way. Get out tri- of the way. Right with the Trigger Bros podcast or Ross Patterson Revolution. No. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. highlight of my week. It's on. It's on. So we're on seven days a week. Yeah. And a lot of people ask us, they're like, hey, man, why do you do seven days a week? And it's because a lot of our listeners drive for a living. Exactly. You need you need content. You need it's the it's it's the entertainment I need to get me through the week. Yeah, it yes. is. Yo, man, I appreciate that, dude. It, and I appreciate you being on the show. It's Absolutely. one of them things to where like we're as as a veteran. I know Ralph Absolutely. doesn't know this, yep. but yeah. it's amazing because of his mind. Yeah. With Dan helping him, 
we're so messed up in the head right. that White this claws. beautiful man <laughs> over here <laughs> right, helps right. us get through the day. Doesn't right. It? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. No, nah, it's amazing. Uh, Brad McMahon, where are you at, Brad McMahon? <laughs> Brad McMahon, come oh, on. Oh, Braddy, can you hear me back there? Come on, Big Ben. Brad, Brad A. Hey. Brad McMahon, come on Brad up. Brad McMahon. Come Brad on up, McMahon. buddy. Let's go. Swap Thanks, it in. Thanks, guys. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Brad McMahon, How welcome doing, to Brad? Drinking Bros. Welcome to Drinking yeah. Bros, brother. Nice to meet you. You as well, sir. Yes. I hold about an inch from your, your face. Got it so, close. You were one of my best friends from college. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, can I? He's got a. Do you. Do you use straight razors? I, dot com. I shave it off. That I face is amazing. I should though. You I should. Know. I think my barber does. You should How use his promo is his code. Beard right now. I think my barber has. Uh, you know. Razor.com. <laughs> you are a sexy man right I now. I appreciate it. You're not hey, yourself, do you have a buddy. wife? I do. My wife may let me cheat for forty-eight seconds. Can you do this? I love it. It's all it takes. <laughs> okay. So this is Richard Denoff. This is his tailgate. What's up, man? Nice We're to meet here. you. We're here. We're raging. Brad, there's some white claws down below there's you. Uh, Zemus, Jollies, anything you want. There's apple pie because this guy doesn't drink even though it's fucking yeah. wide open. Since you're on you the show and this goes out first. to 6.4 million people, Brad, over, under, how many times did I put my dick out in college? I mean, well over 100. <laughs> wow. So well did you know him? I'd probably put that number at 200, right? It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock, yeah. yeah. So I, I did Since the top watch. Since freshman year? Oh, yeah. Oh. We lived together for four years in college. So oh, crazy. He knows. I cut a hole through the side of a, this was before Dick in a Box, obviously. I cut a hole in the side of a shoe box. Do you remember the dead mouse? I remember it. But yeah. I, I would put grass, rocks, everything out, uh, like, and I'd be like, I just caught this mouse in the front yard. I would poke holes in the top of the box. Oh, my God. And then I would shake it around. I'd be like, oh, the mouse is loose. The mouse is loose. <laughs> and I was like, you want to see the mouse? And then I pulled it up and it was my dick and balls. Did you do blackface on your dick? No, no. Never? I, I never do blackface. I only do it in I movies. I mean, you've got the size. I've done blackface twice in movies. I never, I never do oh, it in real life. Oh, you should have done it. Brad, craziest story from Ohio State. What do you remember? Uh, I love, well, I lo my best story is the Vegas story. The Vegas story? Yeah, that is after college, though. I think maybe Garcia's bachelor party. Oh, Garcia's bachelor party. Oh, boy. That got crazy. Yeah, we'll leave that. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. But I remember uh, Weezer was playing outside the, the room. Oh, in our front yard? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. That's when you could have a good time. Yeah. Do you remember this? Uh, wait, here's a crazy story. Okay. You remember on New Year's? When we lied and said I was on the soap opera Passions so we could get a VIP table in Miami. Oh, you pulled they, one of them I skits, huh? Yeah. So I go, hey, man, I'm the guy from Passions, like the soap opera. And they were like, what? And I was like, you know, the show with the wooden dummy, like, or whatever. And they were like, oh, fuck, we didn't know. Well, I'm Come so on so in. We'll give I'm you VIP. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> Here is your free bottle of Tito's. <laughs> Why I decided to brag about a show with a wooden dummy, no idea, it but worked. it worked. It you worked. should have done, worked. like days of our light or some shit yeah you could have gotten fucking all everything for free so after you graduate right and you because you live here you've lived here pretty much the entire time uh no miami for four years well miami for four mm. years but then columbus for probably 16 yep somewhere in there how often do you go to games and is the experience different uh one or two just the big ones just the just big ones, the big yeah, ones right so probably two a year Two a year? Two a year. So uh, Penn State for you, did you go to another game? No, this, well, we just had a, a little boy, so this is my first one. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's so what happens when you have kids, it's dude. It's spring break right now. Sun's does, up, your, out. <laughs> does your party level change from when you were in college to here, or do you try to get to the level that you were at? You try to get to. You can't get back to okay. that. You can't, right? No, it's impossible. You it's can't crazy. You the can't recover. The are too much anymore. Yeah. You got to do what Jesse does and get that B12 shot the next day. Exactly. You know Jesse's been getting B12. We have a pri we have a private doctor now. Concierge. B12. She's in the game. Yeah. I already got the appointment tomorrow at the IB. Yeah. Right. There you go. Yeah. You have to. I'm in the it's now. it's at Easton, right right bro. Right you can go to Easton and get the freaking IV. He's in the burbs. He's getting the IV. I love it, dude. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Jesse looks sprightly as shit. It's oh. that B12. No. It's not the B12. It's, it's the that Jesse is the hottest woman in this tailgate right now. True. True I'm story. sorry to every other woman. True story. What Sexiest up, girl? Here. What up, girl? Uh, Richard Dinoff, man. Again, since we're at your tailgate, I'm going to give you the Drink It Bro of the Week. Oh, Drink Who It Bro of the Week. Who is somebody that has inspired you, helped you to be the man you are today? Who would you like to give Drink It Bro of the Week to? I'm going to have to give Drink It Bro of the Week to my grandfather. He's passed away. He was a World War II vet. Okay. He was, in, he was stationed in the Philippines. He, even though I do it very little, showed me and taught me how to think before I react. And I, 
I don't do it a lot, but there's sometimes, especially with my wife, I've learned because he had the best relationship, was married for 63 years before he passed away, and it absolutely showed me that you have to cherish and honor your spouse more than anything else because when you do that shit, you know, you realize that you are making the ultimate commitment. Yeah. But he was just like... He was the, the grandfather that no matter what grandchild came through the room, he's like, hey, you hungry? Yeah. I'll eat a bologna sandwich with you. Yeah. He'll bowl the bologna sandwich that he ate with the grandchild before you that he took a bite out, and he'll sit with you and have another bite. You know, he treated you like you were the only grandkid he had, even though he had 23. That's amazing. 23 grandkids? 23 grandkids. That was a... That was a Huge number to drop at the end of that six, story. Six children, 23 grandkids. 23 grandkids. Correct. I tell you what, I don't do this very often since we're at Ohio State. Uh, I'm going to give my drinking brother week to Brad McMahon. Uh, we've been best friends for, fuck, a, long, a very long time. I'm super young, so I don't, I don't. 26 plus. Nah, yeah. 20. I mean, I'm sorry I'm that you have, old. you have I, gray, I think I just no turned 27. gray on this stallion. Either way, uh, Brad, you've been with me every single step along the way. Man, I, I almost died a few times. Uh, you were there. Gross. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have to hear <laughs> that on it. Off no, air. No, for real. Like, I was. Off air. Eh, there was one night. We were there. Maybe three. Uh, you remember that drive to Waffle House, too? Like, could have been present for a long time for that as well. You were there every step of the way. Um, and uh, I, I appreciate it. You're one of my best friends in this world. And uh, cheers, cheers, buddy. Brother. Cheers. There's nothing cheers. like white people cheersing with Zima and White Claw. Correct. Uh, really bringing families together Hardcore. with Zeeman White Claw. Hardcore. Right Hardcore. Here. <laughs> Just remember, son, remember Hatter, Patterson, Patterson and Holloway. Holloway. Yeah. <laughs> New Hanover County, 2020. 2020. Drain the Creek. This guy, he, he's going to be blackout so, drunk. This guy, can this. you turn around and show this random guy? There he is. is the one that got blacked out, lost his tickets, woke up after I yelled at him and found his tickets in the middle of the street. Yeah. He lost his tickets at 7 a.m. That's how blackout yeah. drunk he is. It, uh, what if no. 10 a.m.? What country? Motherfucker, India? Yeah. I was here at 7 a.m., dude. No way. Didn't no happen. way. Uh, Richard, thank you again for having us. He's one of the very best tailgates in the country. Thanks for coming. We're going to visit LSU, it. and we will find out whose is better. Tony Tamparello, I got your back on this one. I'd like to see the two of you guys combine, see who is the best tailgate in the nation. Uh, for Richard Dinoff. Jesse Wiseman, Brad McMahon, everybody who came on the show. This we is are the Drinking, Drinking Bros. Bros live from Ohio State. Good morning, everyone. That's the first time I've had to say this on this fucking show. And then show. good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> to the audio As Jesse listeners. says it. Yeah. Good, good night. night.